Okay, so now let's start with the task in order to understand how to write SQL statements to join two tables. We're gonna start with the first task. It says, find all customer ID, first name, order ID, the order quantity, excluding those customers who didn't place any orders. So in this example, as you see, it is not only the customers, we need some columns from the customers tables and some columns from the order tables, and we have to join them in order to do that. So let's start doing that step by step using SQL. So first we're going to start with the select. Since in the task it is like specifying the columns, we will not use the star. So select, we need the customer ID, then the first name, and the order ID and quantity. So now we need to specify the tables. We're gonna start from the customers with the inner join here. It doesn't matter whether you are starting from left or from right. So I'm gonna start from the customers. And now in order to specify the second table, we're gonna use the join statements. So we're gonna say inner join. And with that, I'm saying, okay, we're going to join now the customers with another table. So we're going to inner join the orders. With that, you are connecting two tables, the customers and the orders. As I said, you need to specify two things, the join type and the join key. We have already here specified the inner join because we don't need those customers that didn't place any orders. So we're going to use the inner join over here. And the second thing that you need to specify here, what is the join key? How are you going to connect those tables? You need to specify that for SQL in order to do that. So we're going to now go to the new line and say on. So the joining on those columns. So in order to specify the columns, I'm going to give now only some aliases. So instead of customers, I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to call you C. And instead of orders, I'm going to call you as O. So now in order to join those tables, we need to find out what is our join key. What, which column here exists in both of the tables? So we can see the customer ID. We can find it in the customers and in the orders. And it is the perfect column to join those tables. So we're going to connect both of them with the on. So I'm going to say, okay. Let's take the customer ID from customers. It should equal to the customer ID in the orders. So O dot customer ID. With that, I specify the rule or the key, how the table is going to be joined. I said the customer ID from the left table should be exactly the customer ID from the right table from customers and orders. And with that, I specified the rule. I specified over here as well, the join type. And with that, we connected two tables. All right, so now before I go and run this query, we still have one problem. And is that the customer ID in the select, I didn't specify from which table. And if I run it like this, we will get an error. You could try it. But now we need to specify which customer ID I want. Is it from the customers or from the orders? So in order to do that, we're going to use the C dot, the table name or the alias in order to specify, okay, I want the customer ID from the customers. For the rest, you don't need to do that because it is a unique name, like the first name, it's unique column name only on the customers. But I really recommend you, once you are trying like to join some tables, it is very nice way to document your stuff to say, okay, the first name it is from the customers because with the time you could forget that or if you don't understand or don't know the data model, it will be hard to understand whether okay, it is first name in the customers or in the orders. So it's, it's really nice way to document that if you put just the table name or the alias at the starts. With that, you could see very quickly, okay, those two columns come from the orders and those two columns come from the customers. And one more thing to make it look nicer, I'm just going to use tab. So now we are ready, I think. <laughs> Let's try to query that. So as you can see now in the results, we got the columns from both of the tables. So we have the customer ID, the first name from customers, the order ID and the quantity from the orders. Okay, so now let's understand what the database was doing once we executed the inner join. 
So first it's gonna select, okay, which tables do we need? In the script, we have the from customers. So it's gonna read the table customers and then they have the join table orders. So that means the database is gonna focus on both of the tables. Then it's gonna define, okay, which table is left and which table is right. Since we have first the customers in the from, it's gonna consider the customer tables as the left table. And then since we have the orders in a join as the next, it's gonna consider it as a right table. This is very important to do the joins, but since we are using the inner join, it doesn't really matter for us whether we use first customers or orders, but in the database, it's gonna follow the script. Okay, so now as the next step, the database is gonna check, okay, which column do we need? In our SQL script statement, we said we need only the customer ID first name, from customers and from orders, we need the order ID and quantity. All right, so now as the next step, the database is gonna check, okay, which rows should be presented as the results. And here is like the most important thing. We are using now the inner joints. That means the database should present only the record that is matching. So in order to do the match, it needs like the key column for the join. So we specified and said, okay, you need to check the customer ID between those two tables. So let's go through that. The first customer ID one, we have it as the customers and as well, we have it as a records in the orders. So that means there is a match between those two tables and this customer will be presented. So here we will get the customer ID one, first name Maria, and her order was 1001 and we have this quantity. So here we have the whole records of Maria from both of the tables. So we go now to the next one, we have John. John present as well as a customer ID two in the table order, so there is a match and it will be presented as well in the results. And his order is 1002 and he has this quantity. So it's gonna proceed in the third customer the third customer exists in both of the tables in customers and orders and it will be as well listed in the results and his order id is this with quantity 500 so now we comes to the customer id 4 the customer id 4 exists only in the customers and we don't find it in the orders that's why there is no match and the database is going to ignore this customer and it's gonna proceed as well over here. It's gonna check, okay, we have the customer ID five. It is only as well <laughs> exists in the customers and not in the orders, there is no match. We have one more thing that we have customer ID number six over here. We have it only on the orders, but we don't have it in the customer, so there is no match. So with the inner join, only if the customer or if the key exists in both of the tables, it's gonna be presented as a result. All right, so that's all for the inner join. All right, so that's all for the inner join. Next, we're gonna talk about the left join. And in the video description, you will find a link to free SQL materials, like the database and the data of this tutorial, the SQL sheet sheet, and as well, all the presentations. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.